Robert van de Korput Dutch, Arbeart F. D. Kerpt, born 7 January 1988, better known by his stage name Hardwell, is a Dutch electrohouse DJ, record producer and remixer from Breda. Hardwell was voted the world's number one DJ on DJ Mag in 2013 and again in 2014. He was ranked at number three in the Top 100 DJs 2018 poll by DJ Mag. Hardwell is best known for his sets at music festivals, including Ultra Music Festival, Sunburn and Tomorrowland. Hardwell first gained recognition in 2009 for his bootleg of Show Me Love vs. B. He founded the record label Revealed Recordings in 2010 and a radio show and podcast Hardwell on Air in 2011. He has released eight compilation albums through his label, as well as a documentary film. His debut studio album, United We Are, was released in 2015. On the 7th of September 2018, Hardwell announced his indefinite hiatus from touring, stating that he wanted to focus more on his personal life instead. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> 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 Pseudonym Hardwell's pseudonym comes from an idea of his father, who translated his surname into Latin and English, cor, meaning heart, and put, meaning well. However, he changed the heart to hard to make it sound more appealing. Early life Robert van de Korput was born on 7 January 1988 in Breda, to Annika and Cor van de Korput. At the age of four he began taking piano lessons and attended a music school. At the age of twelve, he produced his first songs in the field of electro, while performing as a hip-hop DJ. At a young age, he was also active in various areas of martial arts, including judo. Topic: Musical beginnings. Through his participation in various competitions, he became known in Breda's DJ scene. He was influenced by the DJ and producer Tiesto, who also came from Breda. As hip hop became an underground scene, Hardwell changed his genre to commercial electronic dance music. He started producing remixes and uploaded them on several platforms on the internet. At the age of 14 in 2002, he was offered a record deal with Digidance by Dutch producer duo Clubheads. Three weeks later, he made a first official release with the two disc record. Bubbling Beats 1, whereupon he toured through the Netherlands and appeared in a number of dance clubs. His first official single, Play It Around, came out in 2006, and was played in German clubs. The single featured a combination of popular musical genres, as well as his own style. 2007-2010, Musical Breakthrough and Revealed Recordings At the end of 2007 Hardwell released the song Never Knew Love, which was produced as a collaboration with Gretzky, the song placed on the official German single charts. Remixes for Gregor Salto's and Chucky's Toys are together with Dutch DJ and producer R3 have as well as a mix of You Do Not Love Me Sidney Sampson and Schizophrenics in 2008 remained at the top of the dance charts for weeks. Also in 2008 he produced a mash-up of the tracks Beat by Steve Angelo and Laid Back Luke and Show Me Love by Robin S. Hardwell's bootleg with the title Show Be Love was played by many DJs and was praised by Laid Back Luke and Steve Angelo. In December 2008, the two producers released the track as an official cover version of Show Me Love. A new remix by Hardwell was contained on the single. In 2009, Tiesto invited Hardwell to one of his performances. They performed together on the stage, and this exposure in the Netherlands led to gigs on media events, including the Dance Valley Festival, whose official anthem was produced by him under the title of Twilight Zone. In 2010 Hardwell founded his own record label, Revealed Recordings, for the purpose of releasing electronic dance music by young talents. 
He contracted with EDM artists, including the duo W and W, as well as his personal friends Danik and Dyro. Each year Revealed Recordings releases a compilation called Hardwell Presents Revealed, containing tracks released by the label together with Hardwell's own new songs. On the fifth anniversary, a sampler was released containing the 100 most popular tracks, chosen by a vote through Revealed's website. The top three were Hardwell's Spaceman, Kashmir and Dallas' Burn, and Left Behind by Paris Blome and T.L.R. René. Topic 2011-2012, Hardwell on Air and Spaceman. In 2011, he signed a record deal with the German record label Konter Records, giving his releases wider distribution. In March 2011 Hardwell initiated his own podcast Hardwell on Air, a one-hour selection of songs by various artists. The podcast is broadcast by a number of radio stations, including Slam. In the Netherlands as well as Sirius XM in the United States, in the same year, Hardwell collaborated with Tiesto to produce the track 076, named for the telephone prefix 076 of their hometown Breda. The pair also appeared at the Tomorrowland Festival in Belgium in 2014. On YouTube their B2B set has been watched by millions of people. The successor single Cobra appeared on the Dutch single charts. The track was used as a theme song for the festival Trans Energy 2011 and reached position 1 of the Beatport charts. Encoded followed with a similar success and was used as the intro song for his podcast. In 2011, Hardwell was ranked in the Top 100 DJs category by DJ Mag for the first time and jumped on number 24 as the second highest entry newcomer behind Skrillex. At the International Dance Music Awards 2012, he won the Best Breakthrough DJ Award. On 31 July 2012, the track Spaceman was released. It sold over half a million times in the U.S. It was played extensively in clubs and festivals in 2012. Also it gets titled as one of the songs that created the big room house genre. A vocal version with Mitch Crown could reach a chart position. In the following years, several remixes of the song were published, as well as a mashup with a Hardwell-produced hardstyle remix of Blasterjack's and W&W's Rocket, which he often used for sets as an outro song. The mashup received very positive criticism and was viewed several hundred thousand times on the internet. Hardwell appeared as a headliner at several festivals, including Creamfields, Electric Zoo Festival, Electric Daisy Carnival, Ultra Music Festival and Nature One. He also performed at Tomorrowland 2012, and released a related video which received tens of millions of clicks. In the fall of 2012 Hardwell reached the sixth place in the ranking list DJ Mag Top 100. Topic 2013, opening of the I Am Hardwell Tour and Best DJ of the World On 29 January 2013, Hardwell started a bus tour through Canada, together with his DJ colleagues and best friends Danik and Dyro. This was done in connection with Revealed Recordings and gave the trio the name Dutch House Mafia. Dyro and Danik also accompanied Hardwell on his North America tour in summer 2013. The single Apollo, released on 1 February 2013, reached the charts of many European countries, including Austria, Belgium, France and the Netherlands. The singer of the song is Amba Shepard. Shortly after, the song Never Say Goodbye, displaying a similar style, was released. Hardwell recorded the song with his friend Dyro and the American singer Heather Bright aka Bright Lights. In April 2013, he launched his first worldwide tour entitled I Am Hardwell. That year he performed on the main stage at the Ultra Music Festival, toppling his Tomorrowland live set from the previous year from the first place of the most viewed live DJ sets with over 80,000 viewers. In the summer of 2013 he also appeared as headliner at Tomorrowland. Later in the summer, the single Jumper appeared in collaboration with the DJ duo W&W. &W. It represents the biggest club hit of the whole year together with Martin Garrick's Animals and Dub's Tsunami. Hardwell also adapted his style of the growing big roomhouse fan base with Countdown, with which he reached the German single charts once again. With the American singer Matthew Coma, he released the track Dare You at the end of 2013, which followed the success of Apollo. 
In the fall of 2013, he became the youngest DJ to be voted as the number one DJ by DJ Mag. Topic 2014, documentary and works on the debut album In January 2014 Hardwell published the documentary I Am Hardwell, which tells the story of his career. For this documentary he was accompanied by the director Robin Perry for two and a half years. His life's motto is, if you can dream it, you can do it, because as a 16-year-old he dreamed of being the best DJ in the world. The film documents his most successful moments, a soundtrack of the film was released separately. As the first result of his work the track Eclipse, which opened each of his live sets since November 2013 came up. Among fans, the ID track received the unofficial title Titan, with the demands for its publication a running gag among his fans. In an interview with DJ Magazine, Hardwell promised to release his album in 2014. Many tracks from the new album were introduced by Hardwell at the Ultra Music Festival 2014 as well as the Tomorrowland Festival. After a first collab came out, Hardwell the possibility to work with Tiesto again arose. Hardwell and Tiesto performed a set, Hardwell and Tiesto B2B, at Tomorrowland 2014, and announced their latest collaboration. One track featured Matthew Coma's vocals. Hardwell then devoted himself to completing his album. In September 2014 the release of his studio album was postponed to the beginning of 2015. At the same time, the third official single release came out of the album. It is titled, Young Again, and contains vocals from British singer Chris Jones. The song was produced similar to, Dare You, not basing on big room style, but basing on a melodious progressive house drop. As with Dare You, the single missed the entry to the German single charts, despite high downloads chart placements. In November 2014, Hardwell presented the single Don't Stop the Madness with W and W and American rapper Fatman Scoop as the third single release of his album. In December 2014, Hardwell announced the official tracklist and cover of the album. Collaborations with DJs like Tiesto or Headhunters, as well as singers like Andreas Mo or Mr. Probs. Also, first previews of some of the songs, including the track Follow Me, which was recorded in collaboration with R&B singer Jason Derulo. At the same time, he announced his second world tour called I Am Hardwell, United We Are at the end of the year 2014, a minimix of the album unintentionally succeeded in the internet and was virally distributed within minutes. In January 2015 the instrumental song Eclipse was released as a download single. In the DJ Mag placements, he held his number one position for one more year. Topic 2015, United We Are Already prior to the release of the album, his podcast Hardwell on Air celebrated the 200th episode which made new animations being introduced in the video releases. Number 201 of the podcast had the subtitle United We Are on it and was a peer presentation of all the tracks of his album. On 23 January 2015, United We Are has been published worldwide. The single Sally was released one week before on 16 January 2015. It is a combination of rock music, Big Room and Melbourne Bounce. The track was recorded with the British singer-songwriter Harrison Shaw and is the first song of the Dutch DJ, which was able to enter the German single charts. As a thank you for the massive support of his album and the celebration of 2 million followers on Twitter, Hardwell uploaded a video of the first two hours of the kickoff event to his new tour at the Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam on 24 January 2015. End of April in 2015, the single Echo, sung by singer-songwriter Jonathan Mendelssohn, followed. Both the trance song and the complex music video received positive criticism. On the Ultra Music Festival 2015 Hardwell presented numerous other unpublished songs like Mad World with the singer Jake Reese, Survivors with Danik and Harris, Off the Hook with Armin Van Buren, as well as numerous tracks from artists who were signed to his label. In addition, there were performances on Tomorrowland Brazil and Tomorrowland. Together with DJs like Danik, Dairo, W&W, Kill the Buzz, Headhunters and newcomer Julian Kaller, he hosted his own revealed stage, named after his label. In September 2015, there was also a performance at the Tomorrow World Festival in the USA. 
In July 2015, the sixth episode of his Revealed Presents compilation was released in parallel with Survivors, which, similar to its predecessors, gained great success. In addition, the W&W remix of his song Birds Fly and his upcoming single Chameleon was presented for the first time. Chameleon, a Jungle Terror collaboration with producer Wewick followed one week later as a single. Two months later, the release of his Armin van Buren collab Off the Hook followed. On the one hand, the old school touch was praised, on the other hand, the song was also described as a very special. Just some weeks later, Mad World, which has been expected since May 2015, was released and features vocals by Jake Reese. However, the melody of Lead Sound contains a melody sample of the song Smile With Your Eyes by the musician Yek Mar. In October 2015 he lost his top position of the DJ Mags to the Belgian brothers Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike. In the course of this, a series of criticism followed. As a reason of that was mentioned, that they worked with disproportionate promos actions. During the Amsterdam Dance Event Aid in October 2015 Hardwell's second documentary I Am Hardwell, Living the Dream, directed by Robin Puri, was premiered. Two days later, on 13 October 2015, the film went on in cinemas. On 7 November 2015 Hardwell presented the biggest DJ solo show in Germany, held in collaboration with the Big City Beats World Club Dome. It took place in Arena Off Schalke in front of a record crowd of about 40,000 attendees. The normal tickets for this concert were sold out within three days. A remix version of his studio album, United We Are, was released in December 2015. It contained the original tracklist, but all songs were remixed by different artists, including W&W, Vicestone and Frontliner. The entire tracklist was presented in episode 244 of his Hardwell on Air podcast. In parallel he and Armin van Buren each presented an action figure, this caused moderate criticism, because of the high price. On 13 December 2015, Hardwell organized a free concert entitled The Biggest Guest List in Mumbai. With this performance, he did a world record of the same name. In addition, he donated all the proceeds of the festival as well as the ones from the fans to the Magic Bus Charity Project, which enables children from poor backgrounds to achieve better education in cooperation with the United We Are Foundation and Guestless events in. Topic 2016, final I Am Hardwell performance and movement to Hardstyle on 8 January 2016, the song Perfect World by the Dutch singer Man de Steenwinkel appeared. It was released as part of the casting show The Voice of Holland, whose sixth season she won. The title was produced by Hardwell. The song went up to 31st place in the Dutch single charts. He commented on the cooperation, I've met Mon three weeks ago as I also followed her performances on The Voice of Holland from the beginning. I think she is a great talent and I know for sure that she will have a successful career in the music industry. She has my full support and I'm proud to be the producer of her first single Perfect World Hollywood with Afrojack appeared on 25 January 2016 and jumped directly to number one on the Beatport charts. The second single of the year was the second collaboration with Jake Reese titled Run Wild, which found place on 29 February 2016. Just a month later on 29 March 2016, Hardwell published his Cura collaboration Calavera. This track reached the first place on the Beatport charts again. At the Ultra Music Festival in 2016, he premiered the final version of his W&W &W collaboration. The initial version was premiered in 2013 and contained vocals by Harrison, but the producers who aren't satisfied with that release decided to incorporate a new version with crunk vocals of U.S. rapper Lil Jon. In addition, Hardwell played his next release, 850, in collaboration with his revealed colleague Thomas Newson. However, the release was heavily criticized since Hardwell had several alternative projects running, which included Live the Night, Music Box, or What We Need. On 20 May 2016, his hardstyle remix of the Chainsmokers and Dias' Don't Let Me Down, which was produced in collaboration with Cephex, was released as a remix single. On 24 June 2016, Hardwell published the seventh part of his Hardwell Presents Revealed compilations. 
In the course of this release appeared the studio versions of his solo hardstyle debut Wake Up Call and the title Going Crazy. Wake Up Call continued to be released on 3 August 2016 as a free download. On 29 August 2016, Hardwell released Going Crazy on Beatport, marking his second collaboration with Blasterjax. Hardwell's collaboration with Craig David called No Holding Back was released on 19 August 2016, which contained elements of UK Garage and Deep House. In his performance at the Big City Beats World Club Dome, Hardwell announced that his last show of the I Am Hardwell, United We Are World Tour would be taking place on 27 August, at Hockenheimring in Baden-Württemberg, Germany. Together with Big City Beats, the largest lighting installation in Germany was built, with it the light show and the design of the main stage were described as breathtaking. As warm-up acts, Funkerman, Kill the Buzz and Danik played from 5 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. Hardwell played for three and a half hours in contrast to his previous two-hour-long shows. As guests, he brought singer Horace on stage for his upcoming single What We Need as well as hardstyle DJ atmospheres for their collaboration. In spite of temperatures of more than 35 degrees Celsius, free water was renounced which led to criticism by attendees. On 13 October 2016, single Thinking About You was released together with singer Jay Sean. The single contained elements of pop and R&B, and was highly received on download charts. Together with revealed colleague Cause, Hardwell produced a progressive house festival mix of Thinking About You at the end of October 2016. Hardwell's Get Down together with W&W was premiered a few weeks later on Hardwell on Air, and was released on 18 November 2016. In the DJ Mag placements, Hardwell fell down the rankings from his previous year position, this time ranking third. In addition, Martin Garrix reached the top, with which he got the rank as the youngest number one. In the course of the controversy surrounding the 2016 DJ Mag Awards, he held a statement at his aid performance on 21 October 2016, where he challenged the guidelines of the rankings. He explained using atmospheres as an example that production talent would not be taken into account, as atmospheres had exceptional production skills but failed to receive a list placing. On 12 December 2016, Hardwell released Baldadig, which was produced in collaboration with Quintino. Shortly thereafter, a reworked version of the song Crank from Jewels and Sparks appeared on Revealed Recordings, produced by Hardwell under his pseudonym HWL. Topic. 2017, second studio album Topic Spring 2017, reformation of the label and UMF performance On 2 January 2017, Hardwell released the song, Break the House Down, which was produced together with Kill the Buzz in December 2015. This was the first publication in the new, revealed, design. For his 29th birthday on 7 January 2017, Hardwell released Party Till the Daylight as a birthday gift for free, which marks his entry into Bass House. He also announced that the 300th episode of his Hardwell on Air on 20 January 2017 would be a special episode. Guest appearances were done by Blasterjax, Wewick, Jay Hardway, Don Diablo, Suyano, and Kill the Buzz. From 2 to 3 February 2017, Hardwell made a reworked version of the song Spaceman available as a free download for its five-year anniversary, which included vocals by singer Heather Bright. In the year 2012, Hardwell organized a competition for a vocalized version of the song after the instrumental version was released, where at that time Bright sent her winning version to Hardwell. His management however, settled on Mitch Crown's Call Me A Spaceman. Since 2015, the common version was available as a free track from Bright Light site. On 10 February 2017, the song Go Down Low by Bad Dimes was premiered on the 300th Hardwell on Air episode, and released as an edit by Hardwell on the same day. At the Ultra Music Festival on 25 March 2017, Hardwell premiered new productions with Austin Mahone, Maddox, Moxie and Henry Fong. On 12 May 2017 Hardwell released his single, Creatures of the Night, featuring Austin Mahone. 
This track did not represent his typical big room style, but more of the future bass style which was very popular in 2017. In his home country, the song entered the official single charts. In other European countries, Creatures of the Night achieved high rankings in both streaming and download portals. Topic Summer 2017 Make the World Ours and Hardwell and Friends Epps On 20 June 2017, Hardwell released the first version of the song We Are One on Taiwanese record label Eternal Music. This version was done for the Asian market and features vocals of Taiwanese singer Jolin Tsai. At the end of June 2017, a track by Hardwell could be heard during the so-called end show of the Saturday of the Defcon.1 festival. The footage that was used in the video revealed the official name as Make the World Ours, and the track will subsequently confirmed by Hardwell on Twitter. This song was classified into the genre hardstyle and received very positive feedback. Two days later, on 30 June 2017, Hardwell published it officially on his own record label. It was speculated beforehand that the track would be released on Q Dance. For summer 2017, the publication of two EPS was announced. At Ultra Europe, Hardwell premiered a collaboration with the Dutch DJ duo Sick Individuals, who had been working with his record label for years. He also played a second collaboration with Afrojack, which had previously been rumored to be an Afrojack and KIIDA production. The song was completed after Hardwell's private jet had to make an emergency landing and Afrojack took him to his plane. In the 326th episode of his Hardwell on Air podcast, published on 21 July 2017, he announced that the first part of his Hardwell and Friends EP would be released on upcoming Friday. Until then, he wanted to release the songs as singles day by day. The song, We Are Legends, which developed in collaboration with Cause and Jonathan Mendelssohn, represented the beginning of that project on 24 July 2017. On 25 July there appeared the official, revealed, version of his track, We Are One. This version did not include Jolin Tsai's vocals, but instead of that the voice of Alexander Tidebrink. Police You Ain't Ready with Kura was released the next day, a track which represents a crossover of genres reggae, big room, hardstyle and trap. Also named on the single, was reggae artist Anthony B., whose vocals were part of a sampled, and was used in the break. The track's roots reach back to January 2016, where Kura already presented the first drop of the song in his podcast Ambush Radio Show. The releasing series continued on the following day by the track All That We Are Living For. This song developed in cooperation with Dutch hardstyle DJ Atmospheres and singer M. Bronx and was already premiered a year earlier at the final I Am Hardwell show at Hockenheimring in Germany. The release of Smash This Beat ended the week. In the 330th episode of his radio show, he teased the tracklist of the second part of the second volume of his Hardwell and Friends EP. Several days before, the cover was released which features all collaboration partners. Bottom. Which was recorded together DJ Henry Fong and vocalist Mr. Vegas, was already announced to be part of the EP in June 2017 in an interview at Ultra Singapore, and was released on 21 August 2017. The next track was an official collaboration with Kill the Buzz, after multiple collaborations on the tracks. Don't Give Up. And. Break the House Down. Titled as Still the One. The song was released on the 22nd of August 2017. What We Need, which was premiered at Queen's Domain in early 2015, was released on the 23rd of August 2017. Beside a bass house track with Moxie titled Power Move, a collaboration with Dr. Funk was also part of the EP titled Here Once Again. Topic Autumn 2017, Power, with Kashmir at the end of August 2017, Hardwell confirmed that he is working on the third, Hardwell and Friends EP. In an interview he also announced the third part of his, Hardwell and Friends EPS. He also announced the completion of the ninth collaboration with W and W on the 22nd of September 2017. Hardwell and Kashmir released their collaboration track Power, premiered in April 2017, was published on KSHMR's Spinnin' Records imprint Dharma Worldwide. 
This track represents Hardwell's first release on Spinnin' Records since 076 with Tiesto came out on that label back in 2011. As a co-writer, Shermanology member Andy Sherman as well as Jared Kritstein worked together with them. After the release was announced in late August 2017, Hardwell premiered the studio version on 1 September 2017 in his Hardwell On Air podcast. In the course of their collaboration, they hosted one episode of the Spinnin' Sessions and on the other an episode of Revealed Radio. On 6 October 2017 Hardwell published his third collaboration with Afrojack, titled Hands Up. Like the predecessor, Hollywood, the track is based on a classic Dirty Dutch style. Another part of the track is Afrojack's live show supporter MC Ambush. In contrast to the two previous collaborations, Afrojack's record label, Wall Recordings, acted as the main label. After the official announcement of the eighth volume of his Hardwell Presents Revealed series via Instagram story at the beginning of September 2017, the volume was released on 13 October 2017. In addition to the songs of his two Hardwell and Friends eps, it also contains the intro of his 2017 live shows, Who's in the House, as well as the unpublished track The Universe. Also on Instagram, Hardwell announced on 2 October 2017, to publish his first own perfume called, Hardwell Eclipse. The fragrance is available as of 20 October 2017 with the motto, The New Sound in Fragrance, during the Amsterdam Music Festival on 21 October 2017, which included the release of this year's DJ Mag Top 100 list. He first played a Back to Back live set with Armin van Buren, which was previously announced as Two as One. They gave a foretaste of their collab appearance in August 2017 with their 15-minute surprise performance at Dam Square in Amsterdam. As in the previous year, Hardwell lost a place in the DJ Mag ranking and slipped to fourth place. Third place went to Armin van Buren. On 3 November 2017, Hardwell and Quintino released a remix of Mi Gente by J Balvin and Willie William. The track features elements from his previous track with Quintino, Baldadig. Topic. Winter 2017. Hardwell on air, off the record. After the first episode was published on Sirius XM on 26 May 2017, Hardwell officially announced a second hour of Hardwell on air on 16 November 2017. This is called Off the Record and consists of a selection of songs that are stylistically different from his normal style, with the genres being future bass, deep house and tech house. Topic. 2018 Topic Spring 2018, Hardwell and Friends EP Volume 3, Gemstone Records and New Alias On 18 January 2018, Hardwell announced that the third volume of his Hardwell and Friends EP would be releasing soon, with a new track coming out every day as of 19 January. The next day, Hardwell premiered the EP in the 350th episode of Hardwell on Air. On the 22nd of January 2018, he released The Underground, a collaboration with Timmy Trumpet. The track was first premiered at Ultra Europe 2017. On the 23rd of January 2018, he released Woast, a collaboration with Quintino. On the 24th of January 2018, he released Get Low, a collaboration with Sick Individuals. The track was also first premiered at Ultra Europe 2017. On 25 January 2018, he released Safari, a collaboration with Jules and Sparks. With the final release of Take Us Down, Feeding Our Hunger, with Dr. Funk, the full EP was made available on 26 January 2018. Hardwell released Anthem with American DJ Steve Aoki on 13 April 2018, which was the fourth release in Aoki's 5 OKI Artist Collaboration Campaign. Hardwell later released a track titled Thunder with Julian Keller under the name Magnomite on 23 April 2018 on Revealed Recordings. 
It was Hardwell's first release under an alias. Hardwell announced on his Twitter account on the 24th of April 2018 that he has launched a new electronic pop sub-label titled Gemstone Records, whose main goal is to promote new talent and reach a larger audience, while encompassing multiple genres such as deep house, future house, future bass, and electropop. Topic: Summer 2018. Earthquake and Conquerors. On the 11th of May 2018, Hardwell released Earthquake. The track features vocals from Harrison and was first premiered in the 350th episode of Hardwell on Air. On the 25th of May 2018, he collaborated with Netherlands-based jazz and pop orchestra Metropole Orchestra to release an episodic two-part EP titled Conquerors. Later, Hardwell collaborated with Dutch producers Blasterjax to release Big Room Never Dies on 13 July 2018, which was notably teased during his live performance on Dutch radio station Slam. The song incorporates elements of multiple genres other than its prevalent Big Room sound, including hardstyle, house, and techno. He collaborated with Cause again on This Is Love which was released on 31 August 2018 and featured vocals from Lauren Allred who has previously performed on The Voice. Topic. Autumn. Winter 2018, hiatus and How You Love Me. On 7 September 2018, Hardwell announced via his Instagram page that he would be clearing his touring schedule indefinitely to take time off for his personal life. He promised that he will still continue to produce new music and will never let it go. His last performance was at the Ziggo Dome for the Amsterdam dance event on 18 October 2018. The performance was closed with a speech where he stated, Thank you so much, I will be back. Hardwell continued to release a series of singles after his announcement, reggae-influenced, Light It Up, with Suyano, Out of This Town, with Vinai and Cam Meekins, and Kicking It Hard. On 7 December 2018, he released electronic pop-influenced single, How You Love Me, with Snoop Dogg and Connor Maynard through Spinnin' Records. Topic musical style Hardwell's style can be classified in different sub-genres of the electro house music. He describes his starting style as influenced by the hip-hop underground scene. Between 2005 and 2006, he developed his style more commercially and over time his productions were increasingly based on a mix of tech house and dirty Dutch. Around the year 2008 his songs became slower and more commercial. In parallel, he experimented with elements from other genres. During that time, he came up already with build-ups, which were very similar to the big room genre that had emerged years later. With the release of the single Feel So High in 2009, he published a tech house song that corresponded to the classical progressive house, which was dying out, especially at the time. At the beginning of 2010, he joined the growing EDM genre and increased his talent in the area of production with singles like Move It to the Drum and Asteroid. In 2011, his first successful singles in the field of electro house appeared with 076 and Encoded. With Spaceman, he co-founded the Big Room scene in 2012 and established himself permanently in this subgenre. One year later, his singles Apollo and Never Say Goodbye gave him a place in the modern progressive house style. On his studio album United We Are, he used trance music synths for the first time for his track Echo as well as deep house sounds for Birds Fly. In addition, Chameleon is based on the jungle terror genre, which was similar with the W&W single Get Down. For the first time since Don't Stop the Madness, Hollywood embodies a track corresponded to the dirty German music. Starting from 2015, his syntheses were increasingly oriented on hardstyle samples. His Headhunters collaboration Nothing Can Hold Us Down was created solely on hardstyle-based sounds. His solo productions Run Wild and What We Need contain features of this genre too. 
He also presented the song Wake Up Call at the biggest guest list festival in Mumbai, which was initially suspected as the collaboration with hardstyle producer Atmospheres, but later was confirmed by Hardwell as a solo production. His 2016 single No Holding Back represents his first movement into the UK garage. The track represents elements of Deep and Tech Joe's scene as well for the first time since his Funkerman collaboration Where Is Here Now. On 7 January 2017, he released the song Party Till the Daylight, which was Hardwell's debut bass house production. At the Ultra Music Festival, he premiered his first future bass single, Creatures of the Night. Topic. Merchandise. On 20 October 2017, Hardwell launched his own cologne brand, Eclipse, in Amsterdam, whose release was originally announced through his Twitter page on 2 October 2017. <laughs> Topic. Equipment By the year 2015 Hardwell still produced in his parents' house in Breda. On 20 January 2015, Hardwell first presented his current studio. It was designed by studio designer Jan Morell. In the studio he works with a Roland A49 MIDI keyboard controller White, Crane Song Avocet Remote 2, and a Solid State Logic X Logic G series compressor. REFX Nexus 2 is one of his favorite plugins. On the 11th of March 2015 he published a soundset for the synthesizer software. Silent One. On his performances, Hardwell is mostly seen with Sennheiser HD 25 2 headphones. According to his technical writer, he works with a Pioneer DJM 800 Nexus or a DJM 900 Nexus mixer. In addition, his setup contains four interconnected Pioneer CDJ 2000s. Topic: Personal life. Hardwell's parents are active in a foundation for DJs that helps young artists deal with contracts, managers and record labels. Since 2014, he was in a relationship with the Dutch event manager Uniki Agnes. They met in a bar in his hometown of Breda in 2013. However, they split up in 2016. His annual salary is estimated at 9.5 million euros. Topic. Discography United We Are 2015 equals equals awards and nominations.